Hi there, this is Pimelo. Welcome to my vlog. In this video, I'll be showing you a typical week in a medical student's life, especially second year medicine. Everything is back to normal. Classes are back to normal now ever since COVID hit, which means that medical campus is going to be full. I'm so excited to go see all my classmates today. And also right now, I'm just going to have my breakfast from the dining hall and I'll be using the UCT shuttle to go to medical school. So come with me. I'm on my way to the lecture theatre and this week we are learning a case about HIV. I'm done with the first lecture and now I'm on my way to the second lecture. We normally have two lectures per day coupled with other classes as well. It looks like these medical students are happy to be back. Well, I'll just grab something from the cafeteria, then sit down to have lunch with my friends. Right now, I'm on my way to go have PBL class, which is simply group discussions about what we have learned so far. Today was such an amazing day but we have a lot of work already so right now I'm having dinner with my friends and good night. Hi there, I hope you're doing good because I'm doing amazing. Today I'll be attending dissections in the morning and you're probably wondering what are we dissecting? We're dissecting dead bodies. Yes, we are. So these bodies have been donated by families and people who donate their bodies to science and also to the Faculty of Health Sciences to help us medical students to advance our learning. Every year we have a ceremony at the end of each year to thank these families for these beautiful and wonderful donations because without them, I mean, we wouldn't know what a real lung looks like or a real heart looks like. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And let's see how it goes. The dissections went really well and right now I'm having my practical class which I'm also enjoying at the moment. It's lunch time now and in the afternoon I'll be having SDL which is simply time to go learn by yourself. I'm going back to rest to go study. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today I'll be attending a family medicine class where we'll be learning how to do an HIV test. So the question is, will I do the test on myself or on my colleague? So I don't know, but like I'm going to have it on camera. So stay tuned. <laughs> In this case, we are using antibody samples generated from a lab and the other sample will test positive while the other will test negative. Here I'm just doing what I do best and I'm just teaching these guys a lesson, you know, I'm the goat. <laughs> I 
I lost the game because I was so hungry, but I'll definitely come back tomorrow to teach them a lesson. On my way back to rest, I decided to photobomb some pictures because I can't be the only one having a bad day today. Whenever I miss home with my friend, we just come to this place because they sell pub. Today is the day where I'll be having my first ward round. So what I'll be basically doing is that I'll be looking for any clinical signs that the patient may present with, such as clubbing, conjunctival pala, xanthelasma, leukoplakia, candida, kaposi sarcoma, and also other clinical signs as well. I won't be working alone. I'll be working with my amazing colleagues. Yes. And another thing is that today is Fancy Friday in medical campus. So I can't wait to see what my colleagues and my classmates will be wearing. Will the drip be dripping, you know? Do medical students even care about drip? I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. So come with me. It's a real tournament today and I'm not here to play. We need coins to play this game but fortunately there are good Samaritans around. I'm sure you know who the winning team is. So let's go to the ward round. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. You can tell by the way these medical students are working. What they are. They're going on a war. Well, I am back from the ward round. It was an amazing day, but a long one as well. Seeing the patients was so amazing. What stood out for me is that I got to see jaundice. The patient has asthma, so I could hear um, crackles um, when they were breathing um, with my stethoscope, which was so cool. What I took from this whole experience is that the information that I'm learning right now, I shouldn't take it for granted because I will use it to save someone's life one day. Seeing the patients, they were so happy to see us, they were so welcoming, but that doesn't mean that that will always be the case when you get to work in a real hospital when we get to do blocks. And yeah, let's get to see what my colleagues have to say. It went well. Yeah. My patient was lovely and, lovely and nice and patient. Yeah. Like a patient should be. <laughs> but I'm tired. Like, it's like I, I was working 24 hours. It was really amazing. Like, first patient encounter and I can tell you like, I feel like right now I didn't make a mistake of deciding to become a medical student. You know me, we don't so we did that. Breaking the tongue and stuff. That is some wonderful feedback from my colleagues. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. beautiful people i'm done with my two lectures for the day and also my two language classes which is Afrikaans and Kosa. yes i can do the thing <laughs> it was an amazing day i enjoyed my lectures i enjoyed everything spending time with my friends on campus like everything is just nice hey but the pressure is getting worse you know <laughs> so how has the first week of medicine been like for you I'm starting to feel like I'm becoming a doctor and enjoying medicine quite more, actually. Yeah. I am just doing some shopping for a picnic that I'm going to have with my friends. My color is yellow and I have to buy yellow snacks. I just got some pineapples. to the picnic as you can see mm, and i'm wearing a little something something you know <laughs> and let's see how the picnic with the girls go mm.
We are at Kristen Bosch Gardens and wow, this place is so breathtaking. This is Mosa, which means mercy. This is Noitelo, which means smile. This is me, which means me, myself, and I. <laughs> This is Nelisa, which means goodness. This is Abigail, which means father's joy. This is Oluga, which means good. I'm having so much fun at the picnic. This is the end of my vlog. Thank you for watching.